This is the Honda E. It not only has an incredible turning circle, it's got so much more going for it. Welcome to the Faster Project. <laughs> oh my goodness. Can I, please, can I drive? No. Nope. Please. Planet Earth is in trouble, and we need to transition to sustainable transport faster. So today, myself, Rick Bullemere, and leading battery chemist, Dr. Ewan McTurk, are checking out the all-electric Honda E. Price from £34,420 in the UK, or €29,995 in the Republic of Ireland. Battery, 35.5 kilowatt hours total, 28.5 kilowatt hours usable. Range is only 105 miles or 170 kilometers per charge, but look, it's got a virtual aquarium. You can feed the fish. Performance, a 100 or 113 kilowatt motor, depending on spec, both with 315 newton meters of torque, get you from not to 60 miles an hour in nine seconds. Charging, there's a 6.6 .6 kilowatt onboard charger, and it will do up to 56 kilowatts, realistically near our 35 via CCS using the charge port located right above its happy wee face. I love it. Wow. That's the first impression of this car is just wow. Everything about it is of the highest possible standard. And the layout is genuinely the most intuitive of any electric car that I have ever driven. You've got five screens in front of you, two center console screens that are really clear. They've got everything that you could possibly want right at your fingertips. There's no faffing about with going through menu after menu after menu. You've got navigation, big button right here. Phone connection, big button right here. Radio, physical buttons right in front of you, really easy to use. Remember physical buttons? They've seen, they seem to have gone out of fashion recently, but Honda's using them here to the most sensible manner possible. Really simple, don't need to take your eyes off the road because you'll know where they are when you're driving. But my favorite thing, is down in the, the center console here. You've got your drive selectors, and even if you're not looking at them, you can tell by touch which one is reverse, because it's a trigger rather than a button, and which one is drive, because it's dimpled in. It's almost like a, a little dish in comparison to neutral that's flat and park that's maybe slightly beveled a bit. So even when you're not looking at those, it's pretty much impossible to put this into reverse when you're meant to go into drive. And then also there's a button here which uh, gives you one foot driving. So instead of when you take your foot off the throttle, you just get regenerative braking. With the one foot driving, the regen is so strong and it blends with the foot brake as well. And that brings the car to a complete halt. This is the best laid out electric car, sorry, car full stop that I have ever sat in and ever driven. And actually out of these five screens here, two of them, are the wing mirrors because instead of being physical wing mirrors there's two little cameras either side of the car that helps to keep it nice and narrow nice and aerodynamic it's perfect for urban environments where it's maybe a bit of a tight squeeze and on top of that there is actually a sixth screen in front of me because the uh, the rear view mirror just now is a conventional mirror if i do this it turns into an actual screen, an actual camera that's on the back of the car. So you can either do it the old fashioned way or the digital technological way. I just love this car. And it also is worth pointing out that the interior, Honda have said it's been inspired by a living room. And you can really tell, I love the kind of retro wood on the dashboard, which is a very flat dashboard. You could almost set cups on it if you want. There are actually cup holders and lots of useful bits and pieces around here as well. And on top of that, you've got your HDM high port and a 1.5 kilowatt three pin domestic socket. So you can actually plug in a games console and play that on this screen here when you're not driving. You are currently getting your arse handed to you by a cute oh. little anime dog riding a teddy bear. So there we go. If you're charging or something like that, you can entertain yourself by having a game of Mario Kart. Might do that later. And uh, final thing of note is the aquarium. 
which goes onto the two central screens here. Probably a bit distracting if you're driving, but if you're parked up and you fancy a bit of zen about the place, you've got some tropical fish, and if you touch the screen, you can feed them. Look, there you go. Don't know why they did it, but it's lovely and it's bonkers and the entire place is, is just fab. Also love the cloth seats interior. It does look a wee bit like my sofa at home. Again, inspired by a living room. I just love the design of this. It's so different to anything else out there. I'm so fed up with, oh, here's some black interior. Or if you prefer, maybe some dark gray interior. Hmm, how yawn worthy. This is unique and it's as unique on the inside as it is on the outside. And I just love this car so, so much. As the world transitions to electric vehicles, the need for charging infrastructure is increasing. So today we're going to explain a little bit about the ways you can charge an electric car. So we're off to somewhere very special. Where are we up to? Ewan? Yes, we are off to one of the biggest charging hubs in Scotland underneath the Kingston Bridge in Glasgow. Excellent. So we have selected two very special cars, the Ford Mustang Mach-E and the Honda E just behind us. But we've got a big crew, so we're not all going to fit in the little Honda E. Which is your preference? Which Honda one? E. I love this car. I'm glad you said that. Let's roll. I love this car. 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 Here we are at the Kingston Bridge Rapid Charging Hub in Glasgow, one of the biggest of its kind in Scotland. 12 rapid chargers here, not too dissimilar to the kind you'll find in the Faster Project. It is amazing. I love to see innovation like this, but also the fact we've got vans, we've got taxis, we've got cars, all charging under one roof on these fast chargers. It's great to see. And we've also got Donald from the Faster Project and Nori from the EVA Scotland here. So we're going to go and have a chat with them right now. What is the Faster Project? The Faster Project is a 6.4 million euro um, EU funded project to support the transition to electric vehicle use across Western Scotland, Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland uh, border region. So we're delivering 73 rapid charging stations across the three regions and it's really designed to encourage the use of electric vehicles and to boost motorist confidence in those areas. And we also have Dr Ewan McTurk here. What's your role in this project and how did you get involved? So I've been drafted in by Donald and the Faster Project team to improve consumer confidence. So along with your good selves at Generate Media, of course, we're making a series of electric vehicle reviews showing you the breadth of different EVs out there. And I'm also chairing a series of webinars which explain everything from the basics of what is an electric vehicle and how do you charge it, right through to the nitty gritty of, for example, what is Charge Place Scotland, how is it run, how is it structured, what's the future going to be? So whether you're an EV novice or a veteran EV driver, there's content there for you and there's the opportunity for you to ask the questions you've always wanted to ask. And last but not least, we have Nori from the EVA, Electric Vehicle Association Scotland. How have you got involved in this project? Well, we want to support as many projects as possible that gets the word out about the, the, the benefits of driving electric. We're on a timetable now, between now and 2030, to convince the majority of drivers to make the switch. Projects like this are invaluable in doing that. Tell you what, this little car can shift when it wants to. Not to 60 is about nine seconds, but it feels so much faster than that. Even though you're reasonably high up for a small car, actually, so it's not even the effect of being really close to the ground that gives you the illusion of going faster. This is just a punchy, torquey machine. Honda, of course, renowned for incredibly high build quality and, and standards throughout. And really, when it comes to the refinement of this vehicle, they've, they've done a spectacularly good job. The only thing is, though, is just as well that we're not driving too far today, because the one notable drawback of this vehicle is the poxily undersized battery on it. Really quite disappointing because the real world range of this EV with its 28 kilowatt hour usable battery is just over 100 miles or 160 kilometers per charge. That's really not enough. That is hashtag so 2015. It just seems to be something about Japanese manufacturers. They backed hydrogen for so long and they've only just woken up to the fact that EVs are clearly better at just about everything when it comes to cars. So, you know, it's going to last an awfully long time. It'll do hundreds of thousands of miles without issue, but the range just isn't there. Because I'm telling you now that if this car had 50% to twice the range that it has today, I would have that on my driveway. I mean, I love my Tesla Model S, but this would be my main car and it would be on my driveway instead of the Tesla.